Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you yet another way that you can um, do frequency-based compression. Uh, the last tutorial I put together, uh, or the last video I posted, you could do it using the equalizer device and using a compressor. This time I'm going to do something slightly different because this is an alternate way that you could do it and this was the way you would do it before you had the actual M-Class compressors or, or I shouldn't say that because you're still using the M-Class compressor, but um, this was one of the old ways mixed with the new way. Um, and I'll just show it to you and you'll kind of see where I'm going with this. So let's uh, load up a Thor patch. Uh, doesn't really matter what it's going to be. Um, let's uh, listen to the bright poly. And let's put a matrix pattern sequencer, randomize the pattern. <laughs> Okay, pretty good. Now, this time, what we're going to do, we are going to create Spider Audio Merger Splitter. Hold down your shift key. Uh, create a BV512 digital vocoder. And also, underneath that, we're going to create an M class compressor. Now, let's flip around to the other side. Um, let us remove these audio outputs. We're going to send the audio outputs into the spider audio. We are going to send one set of outputs into the carrier input. We're going to send one set of outputs into the audio inputs on the compressor. Um, we are going to send the left and right outputs of the vocoder into the side chain in. And we're going to send the audio output to the main mixer channel. I am also, just this is an optional thing, but I'm also going to send another pair to a second channel just so we can compare the two signals, but really you're not going to need that, uh, that second channel on the mixer. You would really just need the first one. So with this done, we're going to flip it around to the front. We're going to change the vocoder from vocoder mode to equalizer mode. We're going to drop most of the frequencies except we're going to leave some of these frequencies up and we're going to leave it kind of like this just so you can hear a difference. Um, we're going to remove the thresholds, we're going to increase the ratio, we're going to remove, reduce the attack and maybe increase the release a little bit though you could actually just leave it where it is. Um, you might want to increase the input gain just a little bit and the output gain just a little bit and then we're all set to go. So we can just run this. Um, let's mute the comparison channel. Let's run it. So what's happening here is the higher that you have the frequency bands, everything that's really high up is what's getting removed. And the amount of removal is going to be dependent on the actual um, compressor. The lower that you go on these bands, the more that the, uh, the signal is gained actually. So what you want to do is keep these signals probably around here and then just whatever you want to remove, you're going to have them high up. Okay, and that's the way that works. So if you want to remove the mids, you would keep the mids high and keep the rest low. If you want to remove just just those high sounds, then that's what you would do. All the frequencies in this range are getting removed. Um, so the, to compare it, just to listen to what it sounds like when you compare them, I'm just going to do this. Actually, I'm just going to do this. Okay. You can also 
also increase the number of bands. And now we'll just compare it. Okay, so that's basically how, that's just a different method of doing your frequency compression, and it looks like by accident, I duplicated those, but anyway, this is, that's basically how you're going to do a different method of frequency-based uh, compression, and it uses the vocoder instead of the actual M-class equalizer. Now, keep in mind, this does color your sound a little bit, but um, if you want to work with this in a bit more of a visual way using the vocoder, you can, and you might like that coloration. You might find this a little bit of a, an easier method to work with, or you might want to just try this as an alternate method. So again, my name is Rob, and come visit me at my website at reason101.net. Thanks a lot for watching.